Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super, super excited for this video. In this video, I am picking up my dream car. Well, it's almost my dream car. <laughs> my entire life, I've always loved the 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback. Partly because my buddy Paul had one, I mentioned it in my last video. My friend unfortunately passed on Memorial Day and I made a whole video about it and trying to track down his car so I could buy it and own it for me and Caleb, but I was unsuccessful at purchasing it, unfortunately. It was just gonna be way too much money, fully restored. Check out that video though if you're interested. But it really had me thinking and I really still wanted one and I can't afford a Fastback, unfortunately. The prices are just going up faster than my income. <laughs> it's crazy how much they're worth right now. So I found a 1966 Mustang Coupe. This thing is mint, and I cannot wait to show it to you guys. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to U-Haul, I'm renting a trailer, and I'm driving about five, six hours each way to go pick this thing up. But that's a long enough intro. I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and of course, don't forget to do the YouTube stuff, like, share, subscribe. Well, we're almost there. Another great leg right here. 2.1 miles per kilowatt hour for the last hour and 40 minutes. 91 miles. Your destination is on the right. Oh, oh, it's on the right. Oh yeah, I'm here. He did say I could turn around right here, so this must be it. Hopefully I can make that turn. Let's see. Let me turn on my forward camera. Looks like I should be okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 shit. I just hit some stuff. Okay, I scuffed him up a little bit. Darn. Well, I already have to apologize. What's that? I hit your bushes. That's all right. I'm sorry. I uh, was trying to make the turn and I, yeah, I just, I messed up. You buying sale? What's that? You buying sale? Yeah. yeah. Why? I didn't know. I thought you might bring some help with you just in case something was to happen. Oh, no. I. It's fine. I don't really know anybody down here anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, I figured you'd bring somebody to talk to or something. No, I take lots of road trips by myself. Okay. Well, come on back and look at the car. Oh my God, I can't wait. That's not put together. Yeah. That's not nearly what you said it was supposed to be. He's fixing to go to the body and paint shop next. Not the <laughs> coming up, but the next. Wow. And you got another one? Was that a Mach 1 over there? That's my... Oh my God, I just saw it. This looks amazing. This is yours. Oh, oh my God. It looks low. Got one inch lower springs all the way around. Oh, it does. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realize that. It's got new coils, uh, one inch lower all the way around. Oh, that front looks great. Yeah, I didn't see any photos with that on there, so I didn't know that was there. Yeah. Holy shit, that looks amazing. What are these bags? Washer fluid. Oh. Some use them, some don't. It's for looks more than anything else yeah. on a classic car. I mean, this works. If you want to use it, it works. I'm wow, sure. this paint looks awesome. It just needs to be white. Holy cow. It needs to be clean. I didn't do any cleaning. I That's did, fine. I That's did fine. Get a new master cylinder and booster on. That's amazing. Thank you. Uh, right here is the old stuff laying in the floor. Okay. New stuff is on it. Yeah, I'm so uh, glad that arrived in time. She told me to go ahead and, and fix whatever it needed. So. Gas cage is fixed. Awesome. Now, Ooh, I like these wipers, the chrome. Okay. Aren't they usually black or something? No, no? not on these. So. Okay, yeah, that looks great. I love the color combination. I don't know if you noticed my truck, but it's almost the same as my truck. I even have gray wheels on my truck. I didn't, I didn't walk out that far. Yeah. Uh, the car cover is in the trunk. Okay. 
Oh my God, that pops open great. You did an amazing job. Well, I had a uh, body man with me when we done this car. You got all the paperwork and the photos. She said, give you all that. So it's in the seat on the other side. Okay. Wow, it's so low. I do like that. I just didn't know it was lowered. Big guy, the only thing that's gonna bother you is when you're in the driver's seat, Yeah. you're gonna be close to the steering wheel. Okay. But the seat bones are not broke in. This, I bet this car hadn't been, she can tell you, 500 miles maybe? Wow. Wow. The only thing that ain't new is the back window in this car. Everything else, the windshield's new. Wow. Everything else is new. Yeah, I don't see a dent. There's not a scratch. This thing's flawless. Uh, the paint is, it's, it's as good as the day it was painted. That's why I say I would be afraid to drive this car home. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Well, very cool. Yeah, it is. It, I'm going to tell you, it's... The tires look great. So how much of it is, like, original? Like, not I'm not a weirdo with... original with the exception of the five-speed. Okay. Uh, one inch forward springs. Like the seats, are these re reupholstered or? Everything's new. Yeah. Okay. Every piece is new. Cool. Uh, you got a aluminum intake. You got an Elderbrock carburetor. Uh, it didn't have front disc brakes. It's got front disc brakes. Power front disc brakes. It's got aluminum water pump. Uh, and it's been tuned all right, so the carb is pretty good. I shouldn't have to tinker with it. Watch your fingers. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, it starts right up. That's beautiful. That's the way a forward supposed to start. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. You don't have to do anything. You can, you can clean on it. Other than that, you don't have to do anything to it. That's amazing. And uh, the cooling system's adequate? Well, they haven't really been driven, so, okay. Okay. Got a new radiator. Got a little high flow of water pump. Okay, good. Gives you 20% more increase in water flow than that Elder Rock pump. Okay. Oh, that's so awesome. Here's the car cover. Okay. And the bag is in there too. There's the wow, bag. Those, those tire wells look flawless, man. Oh, oh my are. God. Everything's brand new. You don't How long spare, did this take you to build? But you do have a uh, rim, but you okay. don't have a tire. Is it the original rim or anything? Yeah, it is. It it's is? Original rim. Cool. Yeah. Uh, probably between two and three years. I know it's between two and three Two years. and three years it took you? Yeah. yeah. So she hired you guys to rebuild it, and then um, well, she never ended up driving it? She hired another place to do it. They got into it, and it's more than they could do. So they contacted us, and we took the job over. How much rust was here? Uh, oh, I got a pile of photos? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I can't wait to check these out. You can you can look at those and tell how much rust is in. We cut everything off that was already done and yeah. started over because they done a halfway job on it. Okay. So we cut everything off. Everything from the windshield forward is new. The cowl is new. All this is new. The firewall is new. Is that because of uh, rust or what? Okay. Hard fine. It, it had so much. Uh, I don't know how long it's in. Oh my God, I love it. I know. Uh, but anyway, everything from the windshield forward. Now, this is including shock towers. It's everything. Every piece of metal is new. Everything from the back window to the back is new. The brake rails. Wow. I really am getting a smoking deal on this. You, you, she's got over 50 in best. <laughs> That's crazy. And I'm really surprised anybody would do that. I mean, well, people don't usually put that much money into coops. They already had 15000 invested with First Man. What, when they bought it? Well, that ain't counting what they paid for the car initially. Yeah. They bought the car, sent it to another body shop within 10 miles of here, 15. They started it. When we went and looked at it, uh, me and the man I had working with me at the time, it was sitting on two 55-gallon drums. Oh, my God. There was nothing on the car. We took it over because it, it was more than they could do. It was out of their expertise because it was a total... We put it on a rotisserie after we got to that point. You, you'll see. Yeah. You'll see. Can't wait to look at them. But everything, all the front end components are new. There's nothing on the car with the exception of the back glass that ain't been replaced. Okay. 
Yeah. You got a heck of a shop here. I see your Ford parts over there and everything. Yeah, I'm kind of winding down. This is I'll amazing. One coming up, and I'm winding down. Uh, oh, so you specialize in just Mustangs? I tried to stick with just Mustangs. <laughs> yeah, the only downside is that I really wanted a fastback. I can't remember if I told I you on the phone. Coming available. Are you? Do you really? It's forty thousand. Okay. What year? One we restored, 65 or 66, but it was 10 years ago we done that car. It's yellow in color. Okay. He's got a black and a yellow. The black we didn't do, the yellow we done. And I, I can't tell you other than it's a, a V8 automatic is all I Okay. Yeah, I'd love some info and pictures when you get it. as nice as this car, though. I can, That's fine, yeah. I, Man didn't want to spend the money they spent on this car. Yeah. Well, yeah, so I, I can't believe what she did. Was, they got in. They, they got into it, and they couldn't stop because if you stop, you would lose what you had invested right then. Oh, I know. It's all a total loss. And this has been 12 years ago. So she's losing money, but she's in a she's in a situation. I understand that she has to get rid of it. Yeah. You know, so I know I I dealt with her and her husband more so her because her husband stayed overseas all the time. Great people. Top. I never had a moment's problem. Uh, if it needed, they said do it. Yeah. But they just got in our heads and they built it for their 15 year old son who was 17, 18 when we got done. He didn't want it. Wow. Well, I haven't told my wife yet, so hopefully it's not part of a second divorce sale. <laughs> well, you haven't told her you're getting it yet. I haven't told her. They're spending the weekend in Atlanta. Fourth weekend. Yep, and uh, so, so she knows I'm traveling for something, and we've been kind of joking, but she has no idea that I'm getting a car. Not a clue. You take her for a ride in. Yeah, let's do it. Is this as far back as a seat goes? I think it is. Okay, yeah, that's pretty close. All right, let me try to squeeze in here. Holy cow, I might need a different steering Might need a different steering wheel. You can put a smaller steering wheel on it. Yeah. And you might be able, and I'm not sure if you can get some tracks that will go back a little further. Yeah, I have heard of those. Wow, it's smaller than I remember. <laughs> oh my God. Brakes still seem a little soft. Are they gonna probably get better? Feels good. Definitely smaller than I remember. car 
it's hot out here today. It's my truck said 91 or 92. No air conditioning in this, and my hands are sweaty. So it's really hard to steer this thing. See if the e-brake works. Yep. Wow. Yeah, look at this. I'm gonna have to work on that. Oh, comes with a nice keychain. I almost bought a new keychain. Some paperwork in there. Center console. Wow. Oh gosh, this is so hard to get out of. <laughs> All right, time to pay the bill. Well, you saw it. It's a 1966 Ford Mustang Coupe. It's not a fastback, unfortunately, but it's absolutely mint. So I couldn't pass it up. It was, uh, I mean, still expensive, but uh, a good price. I think if I had to sell it, I definitely could and not lose any money. But now begins the long, nerve-wracking trip back home. I'm on my way to the first charging stop. It's out of the way a little bit, but it's a Electrify America railroad tracks. It's an Electrify America stop, so it'll, it'll be faster. It'll be 150 kilowatts, of which this truck will use about 140, sometimes 144 kilowatts. So I'm probably gonna go to 100% there. I'll probably need that. And it's almost probably worth it because the other charging stations are so much slower. But yeah, if you can see it back there. <laughs> I can't believe it. So I'm here charging. Just met some cool people that are charging over there. Yeah, we we're talking cars and stuff for a while. But man, now I've had a little bit more time to really get in here and look at it. It's, it is ridiculous. It is so clean. Thankfully, I don't see any hail damage from that little storm. And then I also figured out this goes down. So I can't open it. I can't look in here and play around. Man, just the, they painted all of this. So that's really nice. It'd be nice to maybe wrap that with PPF because arms go there and stuff. But this is just so clean. I did see a little bit of water over there, so it is leaking a little bit, but I mean, it was a crazy rainstorm. It was a ton, ton of rain. Yeah, everything is new, looks great. And then back in here, this is the beautiful car cover that was in here. There is some mice droppings, which is a little scary. Uh, hopefully there's no damage in here, but check this out. Usually they're like, it's a, this is rusty through here and it is perfect, pristine. It's amazing. They did such a great job. And I guess this is the original wheel here. Yeah, it is flawless back there, man. Oh my God, I got such a good deal on this car. I wonder if there's a mouse in this thing. 
that would suck. I'll, uh, I don't see or hear anything moving around. Yeah, but there's a lot of droppings I'll have to clean out. Holy cow. They even replaced the sticker right here for jacking instructions. Everything closes great. I've never been more excited to buy gas in my life. <laughs> I do need definitely a different steering wheel. So that's something I got to work on. I just can't slip in there. And then this is so tiny and so slippery. Yeah, that thing's not going to work. I was looking at a couple and I think I found a couple that I like. I'll have to get that as quickly as possible because it's really hard for me to drive it like that. But wow, I can't wait to make more videos about this car and actually drive it. Well, my family arrived back from their trip late last night. Hey, Cody. So they haven't seen it yet. I've got the car cover on here. They have no idea. <laughs> I'm still catching up on sleep because that was such a, a long trip to go pick this thing up. But we're home now and it's safe and sound here in my garage. And this morning I am going to do the reveal <laughs> of this car. I think they're going to be pretty shocked. But I think that'll be in the next video because this one's probably already long enough. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> See you next time.